Hello, let's do the New York Times Hard Sudoku for May 12th, 2024. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself, and I'm going to get started right now. All right, up here, we're going to start with a 7-5. We have a buddy for the 5. They look in like this. So that puts a 5 in one of these three cells. We also have a buddy for the 7. They look in like this. There's only one cell left in this box that can be 7, so it must be. That's called a hidden single. Uh, we're going to look at this 3-8. Uh, the 3 and the 8, we already covered the 7, there's nobody over there. So those are all the duplicate digits, but we do have this uh, box row filled up. So we can look for digits here that aren't already in the box, and those are going to be useful. So the the 7 is already placed, we don't care about empty cells. The 5, we already, we already have the corner marks for, so it's just the 1 and the 2. So this 2 looks in this box saying these can't be 2. That means 2 is in one of these 3 cells. Well, if it's one in, in one of these 3 cells, it's not over here. That's called pointing. Um, the three, the two is here it, uh, for the box, which all happen to share the same row. So the two's not over here. This two also looks in here, and this two looks up. Oh, that means two's in one of these two cells. And we're using corner marks to designate that within a box, those are the cells that that digit can go in. Um, we also have the one here. It's going to do something very similar. Puts a one in one of these two, and that's going to point as well, restricting one to one of these two cells, because we also have this one looking up. All right, that was fruitful. Um, anything else I want to look at before we move on? Um, I am double checking. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing anything yet. I think that's good for this band. I'm not seeing anything. Okay, yeah, let's move on to the next band. We'll do similar things. So we do have two sixes here. So there's a six in one of these two. Um, five, seven, nine. So for all of five, seven, nine have, um, so th this is, um, this is really neat. So five, seven, nine, we have, we have the five, seven, nine for this box and we have the five, seven, nine for this box. And they're all in these two rows. So this, this poor row is missing five, seven, and nine. It needs to get five, seven, nine from somewhere. Not going to come from here. It's not going to come from here. So it has to come from these three cells. So only three cells left in the row that can be five, seven, nine. The row needs all three of them, so these must be five, seven, nine. So actually, that's called a hidden triple. And actually, this cell, because it, it was reduced to five, seven, nine, but its column already has a seven and nine in it. So actually, it's reduced to being a naked five. So the combination of the, uh, it, basically, if you think about it, where does five go in this row? Or even where does, uh, yeah, where does five go in this box? Um, or sorry, it wasn't where does five go in the row? No, it, it wasn't that. It was a naked single. Um, so we can't use that technique. But um, where do seven and nine go in the row would be something to think about, which is they, they can't go here either. So they end up over here. And then this ends up a five. But anyway, this five does look up. Now these one and fives overlap. We actually have a hidden pair here for the box. Because if you think about it, this one five looks up. This one five looks in. These aren't one five. So only two cells in the box that can be one five. So they must be. It's called a hidden pair. All right, getting that hidden pair could have been useful because it means that whatever we thought could go in here, it's actually only one in five. So let's think about the four digits that are remaining in this box that have to end up in these four cells. So they're going to be the two, four, six, and nine. And something I'm seeing is that we have this six, nine here looking in. These all can't be six, nine. So we have another hidden pair here. This is a hidden six, nine pair. Well, if these are a six and nine, they're not two. We can remove that two corner mark. And that means two in this box can now only go here. And now this is going to be the, the digit that's missing. It's going to be the uh, something, the four that gets placed as well. Very nice. We can follow up on that too. We did already follow up on the four. Uh, I don't think there's anything to follow up on with that four. Um, vertically, there's only two digits left for this column. Uh, let's think about what they are. They are the three and the eight. So this can't be eight. So this ends up eight, this ends up three. We finished the column. All right, that was quite nice. Um, does this eight do anything for the band? Yes, it does, because we have this eight and this eight. So that places eight in this box here. These eights look in, putting an eight in one of these two cells. This box only has four digits remaining because this seven nine is, is a pair here. So what are the four digits? We need a one, two and three. 
No, that's that can't be right. Oh, one, two, three, and four. I was like, that's not enough digits. I mean, one, two, three, and four. So I'm just looking for one, two, threes, and fours that could help out. I'm seeing this three, right? So the three ends up in one of these two. Um, we already have this three here, so that's all we really get of that. Um, I could put one, two, four here. I'm debating if I want to. I think I will in this case. I'll put one, two, four here. Um, here, these can be one, two, three, four. I'm not going to mark that. That's too many digits to mark in a cell. Um, this box is also down to four digits. Let's think about it. It needs a one, two, four, and six. We know the six is up here. So these are down to one, two, four as well. That's interesting. Um, this can't be two. So this is one, four, six. I'm going to mark that two. And this can't be one. So this is two, four, six. All right. This might be too much marking, but I think this band is going to get pretty well marked up anyway. Um, and that's fine. We have this seven, nine pair in the row as well. So these are down to one, two, four. I'm noticing it cleans up a little bit, but not in any interesting way. Because of this one, two here. Um, Looking to see if there's anything else a little bit more subtle that we might not have noticed. Um, I guess I might as well, since I see it, we have these sixes looking up, but that's not really what I needed. I guess this row, we got the six, nine pair. We got the one, five pair. Let's think about how that affects this band here, which we didn't really do. So we have the one, two. We need three, four, and eight in this row. I'm just going to mark that up because it is only three digits. And this can't be three, this can't be eight because of these. In fact, eight looking into this box is a single. So that places the eight here, leaving a three, four pair behind. These eights also look into here, putting an eight in one of these two. Okay. Um, yeah, because I haven't really finished all my just buddy scanning yet. So there might be some of that still hanging out. Um, let's do this band real quick. Let's, let's focus on that for a little bit. Um, make sure I didn't miss any low hanging fruit. So we do have these two ones looking in. There's a one and one of these two. Uh, two eights. We do have the two eights. Eights down here somewhere. And then we've got the seven six, which don't have buddies. Um, anything else of note? The one and the two. Not good enough. Um. So anything else that might be helpful? Yeah, this seven looking in, this seven looking down. So seven's one of these two. Actually, seven's placed. I didn't notice that. All of these sevens look in, placing the seven in this box. These sevens now look into here, putting a seven in one of these two cells. Um, the nine, nine ends up in one of these two cells. I'm looking to see if there's anything else helpful here. Three, maybe? No, three is not good enough. Five, so. Okay, I'm not seeing anything else immediate to do with that. Um, okay, let's look at stacks. So this six and seven vertically, we got the sixes. Sevens are done. How about five, six, nine? So we do have the two fives here. So that puts a five in one of these two cells. Um, the six and the nine don't help. I guess this nine does look up here though. And the, uh, this six nine pair looked in, that's what did it. So the nine's in one of these two cells. That points down along with this nine and this nine looks in. That places this nine, that, dis that displaced this nine, placing this one here. Uh, so now we have these two nines looking up, placing this nine, which places the one and the two. That can't be nine, it places the nine, eight, and six. This is the remaining digit. Oh no, this is three or four. Can't be three, so that's four, that's three. Wow, okay, so that's four. We get the six here. This is not six. These aren't one. So the one in this box goes here. That's not a one anymore. Down here, this eight looked down, placing this eight. And that places this eight. Eights are done. What do we need here for the box? We need one, two, three, four. We know one of these is three. This is two, three, four. This is one, two, three. This is any of one, two, three, four. This is just two, three, four. Okay. Uh, I have this two, four pair. It tells us that the, the only place for one in this row is here, so that's the one. Uh, that places this one. That's not a one. Um, I've been trying to scan this band to see if I missed anything. I'm glad I found that. 
Um, this is two or three, but it can't be two. So for the column, it's two or three, but the row says not two. So that means this is three, this is two. We get the four and the three here. That's helpful. This is two and four. We get this one. We get the five and the one here. That's nice. All right. Three is placed in this box. Great. Yeah, I think we're finishing up, basically. Uh, this column just has one digit left. It's what? The four? Okay. This box has two digits left. The two and the five. That's the five. That's the two. Because so this two over here. This is a pair. We need a four and seven. Okay. Um, where what's like low hanging fruit? How about up here? One, two. We need three and six. Okay, so that's the three. That's the six because of that six there. That finishes both of these columns. That's the five and one, two. We need a three. These two digits are four and six. That's six. That's four. So we had that four there. Um, okay, this, this row is done except for a digit. We need a two. That finishes the four and the two, the seven and the four, the nine and the seven, the six and the nine. Down here we need five and six, and we're done. All righty. Cool. Pretty straightforward puzzle today. Um, I liked this, this five, seven, nine, five, seven, nine. That was neat. That, that definitely helped to spot because that restricted... That gave us this hidden 579 triple here. And beyond that, this one already couldn't be 7 or 9. So we got the 5 and the 7 9 pair. And I think from there, it, like, like that was it. Like the puzzle kind of gave up. Um, we did have a little bit more to find there. It gave us these hidden pairs up here, which is also really neat. Um, so yeah, they're just finding the, the hidden triples, hidden pairs, that seemed very key to this puzzle. So let me know how you did. And if you enjoyed this puzzle, why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.